はい<笑><笑>はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。He's really next to David Wood and Sam Shamoon and Ahmed's Quran 5. Used to be Quran's 3. Um, until the Muslims pulled it off. I, to me, Christian Prince is the, the number one guy at exposing Islam because he's, a, again, a native Arab speaker, knows the Quran and Hadith by heart. And,、uh, well, he's so good, he doesn't show his face or give his real name, or he'd probably be、uh, martyred. So, anyway,、um, I think if, if you're interested in、uh, learning about Islam and stuff, this is the guy. All right, I'll play him right now. Same time, the Bible speaks about the shape of the earth. The shape of the earth appears clearly in the Bible in the Old Testament. That it is in the shape of、uh, like a spear or a circle. If we go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse number 20, we will find the following. It is he that he stitched upon the circle of the earth. Do you see it? So, the Bible confirms that the earth is, is, is looked like a circle. Actually, the translation here is using the word circle, but it's more than a sphere. Like, you know, it's, it's in the shape of a, of a ball. But how you say to me that the earth in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, have corner, four corners, and yet the Bible says that the earth is not flat and the earth does not have corners, simply that was a figure of a speech, nothing more. Because the Bible, as you see in front of us, it is speaking of how the earth is shaped. And this is long before anyone like Muhammad was exist. So when a Muslim speaks about a mistake and an error in the Bible, he is just being a stupid fool because the book of Revelation is the book of metaphorical. It's a prophecy about the future, it's a metaphorical. When the Bible speaks about, seven,、uh, about an, a beast have seven heads, as an example, is that, is that really a beast have seven heads? The, the one we, like, it, no, this is about, it's a metaphorical. It's about things will happen. So, in order to understand what the Bible says, go and there's、oh. tons of interpretation made by scholars who tell you what this is mean, and you will see none of them, he d e s c r i b e it as something. Physical, as much it is something spiritual and about something will happen to mankind. Oh well. But this is not about a beast, he has seven heads and ten horns. Every head is symbolic for something, every horn is symbolic for something. So when a Muslim will ask him about the Quran, he says, Don't take our book upon your understanding. Take it upon our understanding. How come the Muslim don't do the same? What about you take our book as we understand it? Not as you understand it. Because what is matter at the end of the day is what we believe. And who, what we, when we say we, not a bunch of kids speaking about a book. If I want to show right now the Muslims the Quran, then the Muslims. I'm sorry, I think I can get a better、uh, series than that. Yeah, I'd like something that actually exposes Islam. All right. But、Let's、at least、it. he can do find women. Or maybe, guys, we should make a website for dating. It's called alhudhud.com. And you go there and you give this bird your wish to have a woman she h a v e no hair in her legs. I mean, like, is that a t h a t When Suleiman, he h a v e a bird, and the bird, when I find him a woman she h a v e no hair in her legs, I mean, is that time women they, look, they used to look like a gorilla? Like, is that real to find a woman she h a v e no hair in her legs? 
So the king, he need a bird to go fly all over the world to fight the women. She have no hair in her legs. Why? They, at that time, they were so hairy and their chest is, and they have mustache and beard. And the story is very funny. When he went there, they left the skirt up and they found that her hair, her legs is full of hair to make sure a man hate her. But the fact it was the magic of the genie. Now, this is the Quran. And this is the interpretation of the Quran. And the Muslims speaking about science. So let's go back to the topic. This is the verse in the front of us. And before Suleiman was marched in his host. Who is the host of Suleiman? Guys, look at this. This is a miracle. This is science. Who is the army of Suleiman? Read with me, please. And before Suleiman was marshaled his host of jinn and men and birds. Like, what the heck? Suleiman army have genie and human and birds. So chickens, general chicken, general chicken, he was in the charge of the brigade of the chicken. An army. I mean, are we watching cartoon? A Muslim is speaking about science and he want to convince us that the King Suleiman, he have an army of birds, birds, all birds, not specific kind, all of them. I mean, what is the science? But it has continued, the disaster did not stop here. At length, when he came, when they came to the, to the, to the value of ants, by the way, guys, the value of ants, uh, they are next to my house, you know, in the Middle East. Yeah, there is a value. Have you ever heard of some such? I mean, how stupid to say there's a value of ants? Which means there's nobody live there except ants. Ants are everywhere. Can you find one spot in the top of this earth? There is no ants in it. The value of the ants must be science then one of the ants like oh, 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 hold on hold on hold on you see Allah Allah is reporting for us a true story one of the ants look out oh, look look at the details one of them not all of them one of the ants things is getting exciting here one of the ants uh -huh, what the ant did one of the ants said do you see the word said even in the in the in the in the website speaking about the miracle the science the scientific miracle they use the word qalat remember which means said so they agree that the ant said but ants don't talk and to prove that this is a language spoken not a vibration or of or chemical is very simple this is why in the verse in the website we went there let us go back they did not show you, they did not show you the verse after it, because the verse after it is going to show how stupid they are. You see, they show you only chapter 27, verse number 18. But they don't want to show you verse number 19, because in verse number 19 it says, He heard her speech. He what? He heard her speech. Oh, oh, oh. Da -da -da -da. <clears throat> One of the ants, she said, Oh, you ants, get into your habitations. Last Solomon and his host to crush you. And then Suleiman, so he smiled, amused at her speech. The ant was making a speech. Are you sure? My friend, you can type right now and you will see that ants don't talk. As we said, ants are deaf and they are muted. They communicate only by vibration or chemical and that cannot be a speech. When the Quran used the word speech, that means she said words. And look, guys, Suleiman is reporting to us by Allah what he heard. 
the proof that this is a word, Allah he is quoting for us exactly what the ant said. Let me take that, let me show you the brackets. Do you see here in the Muslim website, in the medical website, sorry, in the in the translation website, do you see here it says the, the code? Do you see the code? Do you see the code? You see this the, the code sign? Is it appearing guys for you on YouTube? Is it clear? So it's a quote. And when you quote words of language, that means this is what the ant she said. And Suleiman, he heard the ant. He was amused of her speech. That means Suleiman, he can hear every ant talking. I mean, this is not a funny thing. This is torture. Imagine you go in your yard and you can hear every ant in the yard. I have billions of them. Suleiman would go crazy if this is true, if he can hear ants talking. And we know ants don't talk, as we said. But imagine, just for the sake of argument, that Suleiman, he was able to hear the ants talking. There is a billion ant, you know, I, I don't know how many billion ants will be in your backyard. Imagine you can hear all of them together. <laughs> <clears throat> Part three coming up of Muhammad Quran is amazing. I think he means he means Muhammad's Quran is amazing. I felt that this video would be better than the one I was recording. So uh, yeah, Muhammad Quran is amazing by Christian Prince. I'll put a link to that so you if you don't want to sit through these uh, the series, <clears throat> the link will take you right to it. So just think of this, these videos as possibly to whet your appetite. Yeah. Oh, I gotta stop here. Yeah.